नमो नम दिस सुभाषित टॉक्स अबाउट द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ धर्म एस टू वॉट कॉन्स्टिट्यूट्स धर्म इट्स एस दट देर आर टेन कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ धर्म धृति क्षमा दमो अस्तेय शौचमींद्रिय निग्रह धी विद्या सत्यम क्रोधो दशक धर्म लक्षण सो द टेन कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ धर्म आर पेशेंस फर्गिवनेस सेल्फ कंट्रोल नॉट स्टीलिंग प्योरिटी कंट्रोल ऑफ द सेंसेस इंटेलिजेंस नॉलेज ट्रूथ एंड कंट्रोल ओवर एंगर सो वन पर्सन हु हैड ऑल दीज कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स टेन कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ धर्म वॉज विधुर सो विधुर वॉज बॉर्न इन द पैलेस ऑफ क्वीन सत्यवती बाय द ब्लेसिंग ऑफ महर्षि वेद व्यास टू अ मेड um so this lady was a maid to the queens uh, ambika and ambalika who were the mothers of dhritarashtra and pandu so vidhur was born to um, born to the to her but he was a great scholar he was a great um, he was very scholarly and uh, he as we know he was the prime minister in the court of hastinapur to um, dhritarashtra um vidhur was actually um, the incarnation of lord yama so there is a small back story to this um there was once a sage called um ani mandavya so um ani mandavya was a um, uh, he was deep in meditation uh, he was sitting in his hut and he was lost in meditation then suddenly uh, a band of uh, decoys came rushing towards his hut and um, apparently they were being uh, chased by the by the soldiers by the king's soldiers so they wanted to hide the booty that they were that they had had with them they found the hut of uh, sage ani mandavya they left the booty over there and they ran away um the soldiers who came running looking for the thief they found the booty inside the hut and they felt that sage ani mandavya was the culprit so they caught him and they took him to the king's court the king gave due punishment to the sage he uh, had the sage um the sage was hauled up on a very sharp sharp piece of wood that sort of drove within the body it drove into the body of the sage and slowly killed him so it was a very painful death that the sage died then when the sage reached yama's abode after a uh, death he questioned yama he said oh yama i have been so righteous and i was lost in meditation i was meditating on brahman and that is when this whole incident happened for which sinna have have you uh, punished me like this why must i die such a painful death then yama said oh no it is not um, it is uh, and he or oh, he says i did not the, the thing is i did not um, uh, steal i did not steal at all i was just doing my work it was not me who stole the the wealth that was dropped in my hut then uh, yama says no no this punishment is not because um uh, because you stole i know that it was not for it, it it the the king thinks that he stole and he he thinks that he's punishing you for that but that was not what you were actually paying for in your childhood you used to play with ants and at the time you used to hurt them you know so it is for that karma that you had to die this kind of a painful death this is what yama told the sage so the sage was shocked he said what Uh, you uh, you were punishing me for something that i did at an age that i do knew nothing i was a young child i did not even know what i was doing i didn't realize what i was doing so i was getting punished i was being punished for that act which happened sometime in my childhood he, uh, then yama said yes that is how uh, that is how it works and uh, yes it was like that but at that point um, the sage was so upset so he says and he due to his yogic powers he he is able to do what he did he says i curse you yama for your whatever your your um, uh, reasoning for your for the reasoning that you gave me you don't seem to know the difficulties of uh, living on planet earth the pleasures and pain that one goes through so i curse that you be born on planet earth to undergo the suffering um that people uh, on planet earth undergo so you experience it yourself and then you will know so this is the curse that befalls uh, lord yama and the curse takes immediate effect he is born as vidhur um in uh, on planet earth so that is the back story behind vidhur's birth that is why vidhur is an embodiment of uh, dharma because he is he is an incarnation of lord yama who is um, who is righteousness himself right so um 
so um, the story of course we know vidhur uh, um, um, tries to avert the great war by advising his um, uh, by advising dhritarashtra the the discourse between him and dhritarashtra came to be known as vidhura neeti where he tries to throughout the night dhritarashtra is unable to sleep he is very perturbed because he can see the uh, impending war so vidhur gives him uh, counsel advises him gives him examples from mythology so many stories he narrates uh, but of course all of that has no avail at all because the war eventually does happen so that discourse between him and dhritarashtra is is known as vidhur neeti which is covered in udyoga parva of Mah- of the mahabharat um so the war eventually uh, is to take place what is to happen does happen but during that time uh, vidhur is not there during the during the mahabharata war he leaves much before because he can see the he can foresee what is going to happen so he decides not to be there so he says i'm going to go on a, a pilgrimage on a tirtha yatra to all throughout bharatvarsh throughout the kingdom so he undertakes this tirtha yatra and he leaves hastinapur so he is not there during that time so during his he he travels he visits um, several holy rivers take a takes a dip in the rivers and then finally he comes to brindavan and he sees govardhana mountain and then he wants to rest he is also a great devotee of krishna vidur is a great devotee of krishna so he rests under the govardhana mountain and then he walks further northward and uh, finally he comes to a place called prabhasatirtha there he meets um, on the on the banks of the river yamuna he meets uddhav uddhav is the childhood friend of krishna so he uh, he is very happy to meet uh, uddhav after such a long time he has not been seeing anybody during the course of his travel trails he has not seen anybody so he is completely cut off he doesn't know what's happening in hastinapur he doesn't know what's happening in dwaraka all he knows is that the war has ended and uh, uh yudhishthir is the ruling monarch that much he knows so when he um, sees uddhav he is very happy to have met him and he says so how is krishna you are the you are a very close friend of krishna please tell me how is he doing how are his sons doing uh, tell me all the news about dwaraka uddhav tells him oh you don't seem to know anything you're completely cut off from me. he says yeah i don't know why what is the matter he says no krishna is dead so vidhur is shocked this what krishna is dead when did this happen how did it happen then uddhav stops to tell him the whole story he says so after the war actually the whole of dhritarashtra's sons all of them were annihilated and as you know uh, yudhishthir became the monarch and here in dwaraka uh, actually the yadavas the yadava clan sort of uh, they degenerated uh they were first of all reeling under a curse two three different curses one curse from gandhari another curse from another um, group of rishis who had cursed them so they were uh, not leading a righteous life the yadava community they became very they thought they were invincible and um, they became arrogant and they were drinking themselves to a stupor so this is the kind of life they were leading and krishna could see krishna and balram could see the whole community deteriorating one fine day the yadavas they they were they were in some drunken stupor and they picked up an argument a small argument and it blew up out of proportions they pulled up the weapons they in fact pulled up the tall grass that was growing along the along the sea side and uh, and they used it as a weapon and they killed each other and the whole yadanwa community is now gone and when krishna saw this he also decided that it was time for him to go back his it was time for him to end his incarnation and he also decided to go back and so before he um wanted to before he went away to vaikunt he gave me the um, uh, brahma vidya he says uddhav says so he gave me the brahma vidya it was like the uddhav gita he he explained to me the path to reach uh, uh, lord and how one must lead one's life so he gave me the entire atma vidya and brahma vidya and then finally he rest under a tree in the forest and uh, as predicted a hunter who saw krishna's uh, you know yellow robes and pink foot mistook it for, for a deer from a distance and the hunter named jara um, shot an arrow and that arrow sh- went past uh, krishna's toe and that was the end of krishna and uh, he has gone back so he's dead so uddhav narrates the story to vidhur so vidhur is spellbound he's weeping you know because he cannot believe that krishna's not there anymore 
so and he realizes how long he's been away from civilization and um, then he says okay uddhav now that you know the brahma vidya and everything why don't you give the same discourse to me let me please understand everything from you please pass on the learning to me also then uddhav says no no i am not meant to give you this so you must approach sage maitreya please go and approach him he will give you the brahma vidya all that i learned he will also give you so please approach him then vidhura then undertakes this journey to maitreya's hermitage there he learns about Uh, the birth of the universe vishnu's different in- incarnations about jaya vijaya about kapila's teachings dattatreya about dhruva's penance and about king prithu the great all of this he understands Ma- maitreya rishi maitreya explains to him so it is a dialogue it is a conversation so Ma- maitreya explains there are stories within stories and back stories and he explains everything so so that is how vidhur spends his time during that period Uh, in the ashram of maitreya absorbing everything then he says okay um, thank you so much let me now it is now time for me to go back to hastinapur and meet my brother dhritarash the oj the old king who is still there and gandhari let me go back to them so he goes back to hastinapur he meets yudhishthir over there and then he uh, he tells uh dhritarash and um, his queen gandhari and also kunti he says now see everybody is gone krishna himself is gone and yudhishthir is ruling now the time everything is set it is time for us to go let us go to the forest i have learnt the the uh, the brahma vidya from rishi maitreya please let us all go now and spend our time in meditation and let's shed our bodies it is time for us to leave so he takes everybody dhritarash thankfully listens to him now and they all go together so all of them go and they spend the rest of their time whatever um, remaining in the forests and they give up their bodies so that was the legend of uh, vidhur the embodiment personification of dharma himself so dhriti hi kshama damo aste yam all these qualities thi hi vidya all of this was in vidhur he was he was a personification of all these 10 characteristics of dharma namo namaha